As the future king turns 10, his birthday is celebrated with his official photo taken at Windsor. Prince George has grown into a sensitive boy who loves sport but also knows the responsibilities that await him, Prince George is interested in the military and is as likely to go into the armed forces as his predecessors, according to well-placed sources, once portrayed by his parents as a bruiser when a toddler, the future king, who turns 10 today, has grown into a serious, sensitive boy keen on sport but also acutely aware of the responsibilities that await him, George, whose birthday was celebrated last night with an official photo taken by portrait photographer Millie Pilkington at Windsor earlier this month. Has much of his life mapped out before him and, like his siblings, is increasingly accompanying his parents to public events often dressed in a suit and tie to prepare him for a world where he is constantly in the spotlight, his official birthday picture, showing him wearing the sort of casual clothes his father might sport, portrayed him as a happy, confident boy but seemed to emphasize his preparation for the royal world last night. In May he became the youngest future king to take part in a coronation service and there had been a growing number of other public appearances for him and his siblings, Princess Charlotte, 8, and Prince Louis, 5, but at the same time he and they had been sheltered from the kind of press and public scrutiny his father Prince William and grandfather King Charles endured, allowing them to have a more normal upbringing at home, like his father and grandfather, however, George, the second in line to the throne, is showing a real interest in the military. And, although his parents would never force him to do it, their expectation is that he will want to join the armed forces after completing his education, the Daily Express understands, despite speculation, to the contrary. Joe Little, a longtime royal watcher and managing editor of Majesty magazine, echoed the thoughts of others nearer to the family. He said monarchies around Europe still expected the heirs to undergo some military training and it made sense for George to do the same. I'm inclined to think that if you are one day going to be commander-in-chief or whatever they call him, then you need a bit of military experience, he said. The future Queen of Spain is going to have a three-year stint in the military, in Belgium the future Queen has done military training, in Norway too. So I find it difficult to believe George won't do the same. When Prince William was a child, his mother invited the media in for regular updates on her son's progress, but scarred by his experiences and ultimately his mother's death, he and Kate have taken a very different approach, there have been no updates on George's school reports, no pictures from Christmas plays or mainstream media coverage of him playing sport. However, they do talk about George and his siblings while they are out on official engagements and it comes up naturally in conversation with their hosts and the public, George, his mother revealed three years ago, was into earth sciences and volcanoes, perhaps following in the footsteps of his father, who studied geography at university, in March last year. William told his hosts in Belize that the children were jealous of their travels on foreign tours, but George tracked their progress. We let them know where we are and he finds us on the map and puts a pin in it and shares with the others, he said. The young prince has been hailed by royal watchers as a role model for his brother and sister and like many eldest children, he finds himself assuming responsibility for the others. Tom Quinn, whose book Gilded Youth about royal children was published earlier this year cited one palace official who described George as almost unnaturally mature.